I want to show you some tracking data we've obtained of civilian ships in the Mediterranean Sea in the build-up to the migrant boat sinking. Now remember, the, the Greek authorities maintained that right up until the moment it capsized, it was on a steady course towards Italy, it wasn't in danger, and that's why they didn't intervene and try and launch a rescue. But our evidence strongly challenges this. This yellow pin is where the boat eventually sank. At 1500 GMT on Tuesday, the boat, the lucky sailor, is asked to divert by the Greek authorities up to this point and provide water and food to the migrant boat. And we got the lucky sailor's logbook to prove that. 30 minutes later, the Coast Guard says the migrant boat is on a steady course. But if we look two and a half hours later at 1800 GMT, Another boat, the Faithful Warrior, comes to exactly the same area and also gives supplies. This is footage that's said to show that happening. And the weather conditions, the shadow of the sun, therefore you can work out the rough time of day, they all support this claim. Now between 1940 and 2240 GMT, the Greek Coast Guard insists the migrant boat is on a steady course and speed, moving towards Italy. They say they observed that but this is a close-up image they published from the same time period and they later admitted that they actually wanted at this point to get on the boat to see if it was in danger. So let's have a look again at all the activity of the past seven hours. It's all around this one specific spot, suggesting the migrant boat has hardly moved at all. Remember, all this time, Greece insists that it's on a steady course, it's not in danger, it's heading to Italy, and that the people on board don't need to be rescued. Finally, at 2300 GMT, the boat sinks with all those people on board, and there is this frenzy of ships coming to help. You can see them all there. But it is, of course, by this point, too little, too late.